the first super is built. You could see it in my former episode. I'm going to put a link in one of the corners. Now I'm going to build three more. I will see if I can make it in a better, more standardized way. If I can make them faster and with bet better tolerances, we'll see. <laughs> In the end, I might do it just the same way. But I will, however, get the long sides in the wrong... I will get the long sides in the right length this time. Let's get to it. I'm here for revenge. I have now cut some new pieces and I do believe that I have the long sides in the right dimension. I also made some uh, templates which I believe will help me when I put the um, super together. Now we have super number two and hopefully I will have my <laughs> revenge. I've already done the sides. Something like that. And I do have my templates. We have lift off. We have enough room for them. So this time I managed to cut them into the right size. We still have quite a hefty lean in. Seems to be good. I really enjoy using the templates. We finally got some rain for my third and fourth super. I took the um, wood from the facade, from the walls, uh, and I cut off about one centimeter or, or so from the top and the bottom. Um, and this was done so that the bees would not be in direct contact with the colors when they were in the inside. That led to the side becoming too short. So I had to add another small piece in the middle. But it works quite okay. I did already do a couple of sides. I got myself an idea uh, that 
hopefully could make it easier for me to um, put the supers together. this to hold the super in place in the upper end. Here they are in action. We have two of them and then I have my templates down in the bottom. So as long as I don't make it like a diamond shape, this should hold important dimensions. Feels great. Maybe the third one will be the easiest to build. I think this will do. My third super got a little diamond shaped. It was due to me making bad side columns so they wanted to twist the super like that but it got me thinking and i now have a new idea of how to make the installment better i have this board plywood and i have my templates and if i drill them uh, drill them and screw them in place at the right distance it would give me a near perfect square to use every time um, with little effort. I will now build my fourth super with this upgraded template. Before I start the assembly, I use my planer to ensure that the sides are more or less squared. I'm not sure. The easiest way to ensure the height of the super was actually was to cut it in the table saw when it was all done. Here stands the fruit of my labor. I didn't get any real good footage when I put on the handles and kind of summed up this project. Here we are almost two months later and I've already used the three supers that I built in this episode and they seem to work fine. They haven't been standing here for two months. I have put them on uh, when I saw that the colony looked strong and since I'm, a, and since I'm a beginner I probably put them on a little too early. The two in the bottom the entrances to the hives and the roofs were bought. To kind of sum up this project, 
I enjoyed doing it. Uh, it was fun to actually do more than one, to have some time and thought to improve the um, process of building them and improve the results. Um, I would say that these are still kind of rough. It's not the best supers, but they will probably work a season or two. I hope. Build more supers! If you have any questions about why and how I did things, you can always comment and ask. If you like the video, you could always give it a like. If you want to see more of my projects, you could subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.